Hello everybody, how are we doing? This is Alexander and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to clean up your uh, badly infected PC. This is going to be a tutorial for everyone, for beginners, for average users, maybe for some advanced users, but uh, I doubt. And um, I'm going to show you how to completely clean your badly infected machine. As you can see, my my machine is um, completely infected. I cannot uh, access to anything. My internet connection is dead. My toolbar, my taskbar, sorry, disappeared. I cannot uh, run anything. As you can see, there's a bunch of rogues and uh, trojans over here. A thousands of pieces of malware so the first thing that you should do is go to first reset your machine and type 8 F8 key there you go and go to safe mode choose this option not safe mode with networking just safe mode and click enter and wait for this and uh, we will try from the safe mode to clean up this machine there is always a possibility that um, you will not be able to enter the safe mode or an even normal mode and uh, in that case the only solution is to use a bootable rescue city like Kaspersky Rescue City or Avira, Gdata, maybe Panda, AVG, Dr. Web. Um, I'm gonna show you that in my next video probably or some of the next video and uh, the first thing that you should try is to do a system restore but uh, if you have a badly infected PC system restore is probably going to be corrupted or uh, broken I'm not gonna restore my system now even if I can and uh, choose a checkpoint where you want to restore it I don't have checkpoints now because uh, this is a virtual machine. You can choose data. Let's say um, <coughs> first January, and then click next, and uh, it will restore everything to that state. Probably more than 95% of malware will, will be cleaned by this, but not all of them. Prob especially rootkits, rootkin, rootkit infections, and. Uh, I will try to run some of these programs. I will not use it Hitman Pro today. I'm going to use um, Kaspersky AVP tool. This is a Kaspersky cleaning tool, removal tool, but uh, not the tool that removes Kaspersky. <laughs> this is a malware removal tool, tool made by Kaspersky. And uh, I'm going to use uh, malware bytes a Norton Power Eraser and Super Anti Spyware. I will leave um, download links in descriptions for all of these. The first thing when you go to safe mode is go to run and type ms config. Click enter and go to startup and disable everything except your antivirus everything that is unusual unknown so let's see what we have here this one disabled this one this one this one is unknown application data this one everything except your antivirus I don't have antivirus installed on this virtual machine so disable everything and click apply and close and now restart your machine and um, 
go again in safe mode but this time with networking let me pause this for a second okay there you go this time uh, choose safe mode with networking and click uh, enter and let's wait for this to to enter the safe mode this is going to be probably a long video I don't know how long but um, prepare for that because cleaning a badly infected PC is not um, the easy work that's for sure I cannot make um, full screen in safe mode on this virtual machine but you will have a full screen on your host PC if anyone knows how to how to make this full screen in safe mode on virtual machine VM workstation please uh, send me private message or something like that I will appreciate that there you go we are ready let's try to enlarge this for enlarge this, this a little bit there you go and uh, now we disabled all startup programs probably most of them are malware I'm gonna double check it again they are still some infections as you can see two of them but the most of them are disabled and before we start with the um, cleaning process you will have to uh, disable your system restore because uh, you don't want malware to get back from the system restore folder and I forgot where it is there you go system restore and um, it's uh, disabled already so if it's enabled you just disable it and after you finish this removal process I am um, re-enable it again and first I'm going to run Kaspersky AVP tool uh, setup click OK next I accept the agreement and install it I, I have never used this um, tool to be honest with you I use different tool but um, one friend of mine recommend this program so I will try it today and Kaspersky has a good disinfection technology and that's nice to see because uh, some rootkits needs to be disinfected not deleted I'm gonna pause this again okay Kaspersky virus removal tool is ready for the scan so select uh, hide and startup objects system memory disk boot set sectors and uh, choose uh, all of your um, all of your uh, partitions I, I only have a C partition because uh, this is um, virtual machine and click start scan and um, this is gonna take a while I'm gonna pause this uh, video and I'll be back okay Kaspersky found one virus and uh, it asks you to delete it recommended always choose recommended action and I will apply to all objects and click delete 
if it asks you to disinfect this uh, that object um, you should do that and um, I'll be back when this process is done scanning okay this is done and um, let me see if I'm recording yes this is done and uh, Kaspersky removal virus removal tool found a lot of malware as you can see probably hundreds of them and uh, clean them all some of them have been disinfected so at the beginning of the video um, I said that uh, my system restore is turned off but I was wrong and uh, I will turn it off now yes so uh, the virus uh, will not be able to get back to my system and uh, the next thing that I'm going to do in this malware removal process is to restart this machine and uh, re-enter it in uh, safe mode with networking and um, see you then okay we are in the safe mode again with networking and uh, let's go and uh, install Malwarebytes you will have to download Malwarebytes mm, it's better to use uh, someone else's PC click accept next next uh, use another PC to download uh, some of these programs and uh, click next again and install and this is going to download you can um, you can download it uh, by yourself if you if you are using uh, like me a safe mode with networking and uh, make sure that this is uh, checked update and launch and wait for this and as you can see there is some kind of error and this is caused by malware activity of course go to control panel to fix your uh, internet connection control panel go to network connections local area connection go to properties choose a uh, internet protocol and properties and my uh, DNS server address has been changed as you can see by malware and it should be on automatically and I will be back uh, I'll be um, I will choose this to automatically sorry <laughs> and click OK and close this come on and now open up your uh, Internet Explorer I will not install language pack and go to tools internet uh, tools internet options go to connections and uh, to LAN settings and uh, uncheck this because uh, this was added by um, malware it added a proxy server to it and let's see if uh, this is working right now I hope it works yeah there you go now your internet connection is alive and you can update Malwarebytes a lot of malware can cause this can broke your internet connection and that's the way you can fix it by the way this is my favorite malware removal program malware bytes anti malware free version this this program is just amazing it removes everything you can also use um, a vera malware removal tool it's great it has a very high detection rate my internet connection sucks 
it has only one megabit in next couple months they will increase the speed hopefully and choose a full system scan let's make sure if uh, this is fully updated one more time there you go and now choose full system scan and choose all of your partitions I just have a um, C partition and click scan and uh, I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when Malwarebytes is done scanning okay there we go Malwarebytes is, do is done scanning and it found 148 infections and let's see Trojan downloader registry key files a lot of malware Trojan agents rogue softwares Trojan spy eye hijack homepage so a lot of infections as you can see remove them all I love this program there is uh, some memory processes so I will reboot this machine as I said this program is monster I love it and uh, I will reboot this and uh, I will enter a safe mode with networking again and after that uh, I will install super anti spyware okay I'm back and uh, instead of doing this in uh, safe mode safe mode with networking I decided to enter the normal mode because we are pretty much clear for this and let's install super anti spyware I will leave a link in description for downloads I will also leave uh, downloads links for um, Malwarebytes and for AVP tool and it asks you to download the latest uh, definitions click yes okay continue with installation and click next 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 uh, next now it's analyzing your system and it's sending a diagnostic report to their lab probably click finish and you can protect your home page for being changed I always choose protect home page and now let's double check for updates again and it's up to date click scan your computer and uh, choose complete scan now I will choose quick scan just um, because I don't have much time and um, all you have to do is just wait for this to finish okay super anti spyware finished scanning and it found some stuffs let's see some tracking cookies and um, one rogue super anti spyware is um, very good in finding um, tracking cookies and uh, rogues and spyvers this is one of the best program for that trust me and uh, remove this all and for the end of this tutorial I'm going to run a Norton Power Racer I will leave um, a link for this in description too click accept now it's checking for um, the latest version I already have it and uh, you can restart your system and do 
rootkits can I recommend to do this and um, you can exclude rootkit scan I will not do this rootkit scan now this is going to be the last scanner uh, on this tutorial you can also download uh, Dr. Web cure it this is that is a great um, great scanner it very successfully cured um, some very bad infections like rootkits and um, salative virus and nasties like that and of course do it uh, from the safe mode it's more secure I'm gonna pause the video again okay not in power racer found one bad thing that's some kind of shortcut whatever fix this and uh, some kind of error occurred <laughs> okay whatever I cannot fix this never mind and uh, let's go to run and MS config and let's uh, take a look at the startup programs so everything looks fine here if you open up process explorer or task manager everything looks fine clean and uh, your internet connection is uh, functioning there you go if you go to abg.com it should not uh, redirect you come on this is um, this is abg website so that's that's good and uh, I cannot claim that this system is 100% clean because probably it's not there are some malware traces or maybe probably some kind of rootkit and you can um, you can use a couple more scanners to clean the system completely you can use Dr. Web you can use Combo Fix and uh, you can use Avira or maybe MCSoft, MCSoft anti malware that's that's the good one and uh, that's pretty much it <coughs> I hope uh, this video helped you and uh, I hope you enjoyed it it was a long video but what can I do it's a long process and um, in the next video and maybe some of the next I will show you how to clean up rootkit infections and uh, maybe sality or virus. Those are very very nasty. Some of the the baddest infections I I have ever seen. The worst infections I have ever seen. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate. And uh, goodbye.